We are one adventure at a time. Dave, Carrie, and Rudolph. We are excited to start our third year of full-time living and traveling in our tiny home on wheels. Join us as we travel North America, exploring and sharing the beauty around us. Today we are free camping in southeastern Arizona. A matter of fact, we're only about one mile from the New Mexico border. This location here is BLM. It's the Round Mountain BLM Rock Hounding area. We're about 12 miles off the pavement. It's definitely remote, a place that you wanna bring extra water, make sure you have a full fuel tank. And high clearance is recommended we did fine getting up here we just had to drive slow it gets rockier as you go and we actually spent some time looking for a spot that would be comfortable for rudel we didn't take the first spot that we found this spot here has nice soft ground where he can run and play ball on so that was one of our main things that we were looking for here things that you can do here first off it's a rock hounding area so this is supposed to be one of the best places in the whole world to find fire agates. And we've already seen lots of agates. I haven't found any fire agates yet. Haven't been taking much time to look. And then the other thing is this area has great night sky with no light pollution. So once again, we'll be checking out the stars. It looks like there won't be any moon, at least for the first half of the night. So I can't wait to see what kind of pictures that Carrie can get. And you can see this area is super rocky. And that's where we did not want to camp. We wanted to make sure we had a nice place where Rudel could run and play ball. So that's why we're down here. And I'm looking forward to doing some exploring, see if we can find some of those rare fire agates. Time to take a break and go out and hunt for some agates. And see what we can find. I'm hoping to find some of those fire agates. They're really pretty when you find them. Yeah, we don't actually have to get very far from camp to start finding them. They're, they're all of a sudden, I mean, they're everywhere. I read they're called the Pearl of the Desert. Cool. And some of them are like iridescent. So we need to find some of those. What's iridescent? Like, um, like hummingbird or peacock feathers. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, cool. So that's what we're, that's our goal. We might find some cows too. And no snakes. Yeah, I'm hoping for no snakes. So even though we're starting off and we're not very far from the car, I'm already starting to see some agates in here. There's one right there. But I'm looking for fire agates. Oh, there's one. There's actually a fire agate right there. 
I don't know if you can see it or not. That's a lot of rocks. Yeah. You think there'll be good ones down there? I would think so. I think the creek bed would be a great spot to look for them. Okay. This is a barrel cactus right here, and these fruits are edible. Now, from what I read, they are not super tasty. They're not super sweet. They have a lot of seeds and have to be prepared a certain way. Ruta likes the smell, wow. But I think it's really neat when you can find wild edibles in the middle of a desert. And these are ready to eat, from what I can tell, in late winter. So we just might have to try one and see what it tastes like. What did you try? You like it? Oh, oh! He really likes it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Good boy. He's really interested in this fruit that I picked up. That cactus. I mean, I think he wants to eat it. Look how bright it is. It looks like it's almost glowing. Doesn't it kind of look like a little pineapple? Oh, easy, Rudel. Wow. I think actually, Rudel probably just wants to play ball. He's got a traveling van and a master plan. He'll show you it all if you throw him his ball. He's Rudo. He's Rudo. We've been filming all day, so our van's a little bit of a disaster here. But all I did was tell Rudel, where's your ball? And he came running. Run into the van because he knows where that ball is. It's in the door here. He had a little gallop going. He is pretty excited. Pretty darn excited. Go get it, Rudel. Oh, yeah. Nothing better than this kind of time of day. Yeah. Boy, are you gonna throw it to me? I got it. Yeah, I got it. Good boy, Rudel Doodle. Good boy, Rudel. Oh, yeah. For tonight's dinner, we're going to make two pouches. We got one head of broccoli cut up into small pieces, two spears of fresh pineapple,
three mushrooms each. One onion divided amongst the two. And we are going to top that with some turkey sausage that I partly cooked. And some of my honey mustard Italian dressing. Okay, we're gonna wrap these up and get them on the fire. All right, two dinner pouches. The coals are hot and ready. All right. Thank you. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, open it up. That's hot. Okay, yeah, that looks good. All right, this is an experimental recipe, so. Well, I have already tasted it and I love it. Okay, what do you like? The pineapple has just made everything taste awesome. The pineapple, the broccoli, the mushrooms, yummy. <laughs> Everything's perfectly done. Yeah, we didn't overcook it this time. Yep. Last time we overcooked one of them. Mm. These are the barrel cactus fruit cut open. Riggle, you want to sniff? What do you think? Not impressed? Not as impressed as you were out there? Hi, riddle doodle doodle doo. Did we sing him his song day? That's right. Do Riddle doodle doo. Riddle doodle doo. Where are you? We got some, some work, work to do, do now. Riddle doodle doo. I see you. We got some work to do now. Riddle doodle doo. I love you. Love you. Boy, he's really out tonight. Here's what our mornings look like. Dave makes breakfast. Rudel and I await anxiously. And Carrie makes dinner. What was for breakfast this morning? We had bacon and egg sandwiches and a little bit of sausage on the side. And they were delicious. Rudel even got an egg today. So now I'm gonna clean up a little bit and I wanna show you just a couple of quick tips that we do when I'm doing dishes. And it made our life a lot easier and I'll wanna share it with you. First, I like to get the water nice and hot. I noticed hot water, it, will use, it takes a lot less water to clean the dishes. And we've got a small sink here, but we definitely can't fill that sink with water because we need to save as much water as possible. And so we used actually this pan that's inside. And then we fill that with just a little bit of water. I've got about four cups in here. And then I'm gonna wash dishes just like anybody would some people actually use a sprayer and spray on soap to save even more water so i'm going to get it nice and clean and then i've got a little bit of arthritis in my hands so we've been using those spray bottles and it's just been killing me while doing dishes just a lot of pain carrie went ahead and got me this bottle out of the garden center that you can find in most stores 
And all you have to do is give it a couple of pumps and then it has a trigger right here on the top. So then I just use that to rinse. It has good pressure too. It has good pressure, it takes hardly any work and it's just my thumb being pressed down. So my hand is not hurting. And I'm actually using less water to rinse the dishes than I was with the sprayers because I think it's because the water has more force. on washing and spraying and you get a few dishes done before you have to add a few more pumps to get the pressure back up again and this, this is a pretty big bottle but when I'm done with the dishes it just fits right here in the sink and it's pretty stable and doesn't rattle around too much that's where it so lives it's a good spot for it it was a good trade-off it was a good trade-off because how many spray bottles we went through like five or six in two years. Yeah, they always end up breaking down and just that squeezing motion hurts my hands, so. Well, I definitely recommend the spray bottle. If you're looking for a new way to rinse dishes, you might consider trying this out. So we've had a condensation problem with this headlight and we thought, oh, we'll make a video on how we're gonna get the condensation out. And we removed the headlight and poured a whole bunch of water out of it. And then we started looking for the cap for this one. And we're like, well, where did I put the cap? And we spent, I don't know, 15 minutes looking. So we had to actually watch the footage of me removing the headlight out and notice that like, there was no cap on there. So the last time that we did a headlight replacement, which we do often um, obviously we didn't put the light I didn't put the light on correctly or the cap on correctly and it must have just fell off and that's why we're having all the water problems it's a little bit embarrassing but at least we know the problem we don't have to take the light apart I don't have to repair the light I just got to get a new cap so now we gotta get the water out so between the filming that we did and then getting this thing all cleaned up and put back in we just pretty much spent our whole afternoon <laughs> well, it was about an hour. No, it was longer than that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Felt longer than that. <laughs> well, I'm glad we, we had that on tape because we would have been looking everywhere for that cap. Yeah, because I was sure it was on there when I pulled the light out, but I was wrong. I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw water when you pulled it out. So now I'm going to fire up our air compressor and I put the little air nozzle on it and I'm going to use air to dry out the lens and then try to reseal with this something temporarily until I can get a new cap for it so we don't get any more moisture in there. Bummer. Glad we figured it out though. Yeah, I'm glad we had it on tape. <laughs> so that's all that we had on hand for this repair was some tape, so we taped it up. I think it will hold until we can find a new cap for it. But we're gonna put it back in and just wait for an opportunity to get a new cap. Another use for duct tape. <laughs> yeah. What's our goal today? I think we're gonna try to get to the top of Round Mountain. It's not too far off and hunt for agates all the way up. Maybe we can find one of those awesome agates that you see when you Google uh, fire, fire agates. agates. We'll see. We are seeing a lot more color on this side. Yeah, we are. I don't think this area that we're at right now gets hit as hard as the area that we've camped at. So we're gonna go all Round Mountain. You can't come to Round Mountain Rock Hounding area and not go to the top of Round Mountain. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's go. Find us an agate, Rudel. Rudel, are you an agate dog? Can you find agates? If there's a dog treat attached to him, he could.
Dave. Come look at this one. What am I looking at? Right here. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's... Oh, we're going to have to save that one, clean it up. That's a big one. I don't see any of the fish eyes, but it's hard to tell right now. It's got a lot of color it, in it. It could have it. We'll clean it up and check it out. Awesome find. Look at the back of it. Is that just... That's just... Uh, but underneath it looked really dark. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Good. Good find. You have to take a break and just look around. The view is amazing. Oh man, I just turned around and looked at this one. Wow, that one's awesome. I just found another one. Okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Don't dump your bag out. Why would you start over? Because these are all better than the ones I was finding down the hill. You got agate fever? I got agate fever. Okay, come look at this one. All right. Look right here. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, that, thanks, Riddle. Oh. Isn't that one awesome? Cool. I can't wait to see what that looks cleaned up. Look at the red and dark colors and the bubbles. Oh, yeah. And look, this one here. I found this one first. This one's better, but this one might have some color in it, too. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Yeah. Whatever that line is going through it. Okay. We're getting to the good stuff. <laughs> I'm just fine. I want to clean this one up. Oh, I like if, the shape. See if there's any color in it because it just has a really good shape to it. Yeah. I'm excited to get back and clean them. I mean, that one's... That one looks green right there. I don't know why. But I know. You can't tell if it's like algae so, or we'll if it's the rock. We'll see. Yeah, that one's great, Carrie. I don't see any of the, you know, bright green colors and stuff in you it. You might, though, once we clean it. But once we clean it. Fantastic. We did it! We made it to the top! Woo! If you guys come up here looking for agates, I recommend that you go to the top of the round mountain hill. The one that's in the middle of the loop. Take your time! It's awesome views! The higher you get, the better the rocks are looking. It's very windy. It's super windy. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. This has been an awesome day. I love yeah. it. The first day we were walking up the wash, the creek bed, next to the van and we found these agates here. And they're big and they were everywhere and they're fun to find. The next day we went up to the top of this hill and we started finding all these fire agates. And these are some really pretty ones mixed in here. Some have colors of copper and yellow and one of them has a green eyeball, which I'll have to find because I don't know where it went to. But just some super pretty rocks. I'm very happy that we did that, had that experience. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with them all because, you know, we have a small van. So this first pile, we're going to throw back out there in the creek bed. But this second pile, I guess we're going to give it away to different people we meet along the way. And maybe keep your favorite one. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to give away this, this pile here. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're really pretty. Little pieces of candy. 
We have really enjoyed our time here. I find looking for the agate super relaxing. Okay, let's get down to business. Rig size. Okay, so for getting up here, it's about a 12 mile gravel road. So it starts off nice and gets rougher as it goes. When you get to the rock hounding area, you could probably get a 30, maybe 35 foot rig in here, no problem. Do not do the loop because uh, if you're longer than 20 feet, because there's a lot of washes and sharp rocks, yes. boulders, it was very challenging. Of course we did it. Now, if you wanted to, <laughs> of course we did it. If you are an off-roader and you'd like to four-wheel drive, this will not be challenging for you. Yeah. If you have a two-wheel drive or front-wheel drive ProMaster, it's a little bit of a challenge. You will need all-terrain tires, and I think it's a good idea to have a spare tire. Yeah, make sure you fuel up before you come out here, get plenty of water. Yeah. Okay, amenities. There's no water. Well, in case of an emergency, there is a cattle trough up the road where they're... Pulling. It looks like fresh water's coming in, but I would only use that in emergencies. Yeah. Don't count on using it. Otherwise, we don't know who owns the water rights. <laughs> um, there is two bars of Verizon cell service. Yep. There's no trash. It's very clean. Super clean out even here. Even though there's no trash. Um, dog friendly? Dog friendly, but you do have to look for a location because it is pretty rocky out here. And what do we like about this area? I like that it has been super quiet. We had a, a couple days out here where we didn't see one single person. That is true. And I, I absolutely love looking for rocks and agates especially. So it was it was perfect for me. If Loved you're it. if you're a rock hound, you're gonna love this area. Yeah. It's big, wide open sky. I tried my hand at a nighttime lapse and I failed. But that is on my list to do this year. There is very little light pollution, so the stargazing is superb. Cloud watching is superb. So if you like this kind of thing, we suggest you come here, try it out. I think you'll be happy like we are. And we, as always, appreciate you subscribing. Appreciate you watching our videos and commenting. We'll see you next time. Happy boondocking. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.